Okay, let's look at the word journey. Now again, every time we talk about a word that begins with J, I like to cover this quickly. This is the letter J. When it starts a word, as we don't need any up a, any connection point above the letter, we eliminate that. And this is a J. It's not ambiguous with anything else, it's just fine, we can use it like that. So all you need is a double bend before you start your word, and you've got a J starting it. So let's try to do journey in the simplest possible form. I'm not going to bother with this form. We can draw a journey like this, but I just don't particularly like that look. I am a fan of this. Okay, J O U R N E Y. Simplest possible form of journey. Now let's try to make this a little prettier. First thing we can do, put the U inside of the O. Uh, second thing we could do, we could put the Y inside of the E. As you can see, here's the E and here's the Y. Um, and we could also try putting the R inside of the U, but if we put the U inside of the O and the R inside of the U, that starts to become a rather large component of the character. If we did that, we had might as well also add an N inside of the U as well. So, uh, let's just stick with uh, simple double letter combinations for the moment. And we have J-O-U-R-N-E-Y, journey. Okay, we can have some fun with this. You could, uh, journey is an interesting word. It involves passing or paths and stuff. So you can try to make this look like some kind of path or passage or movement of some kind, which could symbolize journey. Uh, maybe this could somehow be twisted so that it looks like something is flowing, and then this is a stop point. I don't know. You can have your own fun with it. Uh, let's try one more. Let's try putting a whole bunch of letters inside of that O. Let's try to see if we can't fit almost the whole word inside of there. So we got a big J and a massive O. And then we've got a big U. R, N, E, Y. And we did it. Journey.